What's up everybody, I'm Derek. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the review on the cordless Bauer 10-inch buffer. Of course, as you probably are well aware, this is a part of the 20-volt Hypermax tool system from Bauer or better known as Harbor Freight. And this tool is definitely another great addition to that tool system. So, as you're probably well aware, this is a tool only. It comes just as the tool itself, no battery, no charger, um, which for me is totally fine because I'm already in the system and I've got tons of other tools before I bought this. I've been using this orbital buffer for about, well, I think it'd be better to put it in terms of how much time I've actually used it. I've probably actually holding it with it turned on, uh, waxing a vehicle. I've probably been using it for somewhere around between putting on the application of the wax and then buffing in the wax probably about three hours total so the video footage that you're gonna see in this video here is all just on my 2004 Chevy Silverado that is the only time I've even used this tool on camera I did wax my 2010 Chevy Equinox that has since been sold and also my 2007 Toyota Corolla which has been a great car and is not going anywhere I probably ran this tool now at this point longer than I've ran any, uh, all of my Bauer drills, which is a good re uh, good part of why I've not done any of the reviews on them yet, because I want to get a lot of time and I want to collect a lot of footage. However, this tool is not something that I feel like that a whole lot of bit uh, that has a whole lot of different applications. It's you're pretty much just going to see me waxing vehicles all the time, and I've already waxed three of them with it, and so I figured now is probably a pretty good time to get this review out. So it does come with a buffing pad and an applicator pad, both of which are very dirty and really need to be cleaned. I'm gonna say right off the bat that I don't think that these are really the highest quality pieces of fabric. I definitely think that you could probably get a little bit of use out of these, but definitely consider that you might are gonna pick up uh, another set sometime in the near future after buying it. So with the machine itself, it's got, of course, the really nice uh, rubber over molding over the rest of the plastic that Bauer's got on all their tools that looks really nice. Finish of the tool looks uh, pretty standard. Nothing too perfect or anything like that, but nothing particularly wrong with it. Um, overall, it's just a good looking tool and I don't have really much of anything bad to say about it aesthetically. Uh, one of the nice things is that they actually got it right on this machine because when you lock in the battery, you can actually see how much battery life, battery life you have left. Where on some of the other tools, like the fan, you can't push the battery light and see how much juice is left. The switch definitely feels pretty decent. I'm not going to say that it feels super high quality, but of course that's just feeling and who honestly really knows. Recording this in the shop, I referred to this motion as random orbital because of sanders but it's actually not it's a dual action so the bottom spins while the whole entire bottom assembly also kind of oscillates and it's supposed to keep your buffer from putting any hot spots into the paint or like working on one particular point a little bit too much and it's also supposed to give the paint a much much better polish than if it was just a rotary motion. So down here on the foam pad where you put your buffing pad and your applicator pad on um, all they do is they just have these stretchy uh, elastic ends in here and they just wrap around. It does take a little bit of work to get them on there perfectly because you do have to try to get them on uh, really evenly and it is a little bit of a pain in the neck. Hopefully you can see it on the camera. I have already sort of rounded off the edges of this foam. Um, I don't really think it's a problem, but it used to be nice and square. Um, so it's got a few different layers of foam here. I know nothing about the foam, but uh, it seems pretty well padded. So one of the issues that I can foresee happening in the future is the foam kind of separating from this plastic piece here. I believe it's all just glued together. And every time I put the pad on, because it's such a tight fit, um, it feels like it's pulling on that foam just a little bit. And I'm afraid that over time, eventually, um, I'm just gonna wear that glue out and I'm gonna end up 
and not just the glue, but wear the foam out and end up tearing the foam off. So you'll want to be real careful with that. Um, no issues yet, but I, I am a little bit concerned about it. But yeah, guys, as far as I can tell overall, just kind of looking at it from the outside um, and having used it a little bit uh, and just the build quality and everything, it seems to me to be pretty much right in line with the rest of the Bauer stuff. High value, low cost, works well, looks nice, and just plain works for a pretty low cost. I really do need to get these pads in the wash though. So at the time that I'm making this video on the Harbor Freight website, this tool is on sale for $49.99. I haven't been able to find any coupons for it thus far for the tool specifically, but of course Harbor Freight comes out with that Bauer Days coupon every now and then where they'll give you 10% off. So that puts you at about $45 for this buffer, which is not a bad deal at all. I feel like that's a pretty fair price for it, especially when you consider some of the higher end brands. They're asking quite a bit more money for them. Uh, one of the direct competitors would be Ryobi. I know that Ryobi offers the same tool, um, but I have no idea anything about it or any idea what the price is on it. But uh, I do feel like for the price of this tool, that $49.99, especially if you can get it for the $45 bucks, is pretty fair. Harbor Freight is doing this new deal where you save $20 instantly when you purchase a battery and a charger. So giving you a little bit of a break for buying essentially a, a tool kit here. So uh, good on them for bringing that out. Of course, I didn't need it, so I just bought the tool by itself. Alright, so my overall experience with this buffer has been pretty much nothing but positive. This thing gave all of my vehicles a really, really nice shine. Um, I have no experience in waxing vehicles in the past. I have neglected my vehicle's paint for a long time. And apparently everybody else before me too. Um, but I definitely want to start trying to take as good a care of my vehicle's paint as I can. And that's why I picked this thing up. And uh, I think it did a great job. I used some Meguiar's. Uh, high-tech yellow wax or something like that and I put a really really nice mirror shine on my truck and my other vehicles and so as far as the waxing results go I'm really happy with them so as far as vibration goes you're gonna be hard-pressed to get away from vibration probably with any buffer but definitely with this one I have to say that it wasn't fatiguing I didn't feel like vibration fatigue at the end of using this thing um, it was really overall pleasant to use. The ergonomics are really nice. And then I was able to buff most of the whole truck using just one 3 amp hour battery with this. When I was doing the waxing stage, not just the application stage, but the waxing stage, and I had maybe like one fifth or one sixth of the truck left, um, it did start to feel really, really weak. So I did end up changing out the battery before I finished. But if you're going to be waxing just like a small car with it or something like that, you can definitely get away with using one 3 amp hour battery. Uh, it's definitely a reliable tool and it does a good job and I have really nothing to complain about. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please go down and click subscribe to catch more videos like this one. And I really would appreciate it if you also went and gave me a thumbs up. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.